grand opening, grand closing. Welcome, my friends, my family, my fellow gamers. It's your only friend, these YouTube streets, Porter Rock 77, with another video. And the PlayStation smearing campaign continues. Um, as for whatever reason, I have my assumptions, but today's new outrage, which is impacting the the brand, the PlayStation brand, it's it's in dire situation. The end is here. Is the recent news that uh, for the PlayStation Slim model, all digital, if you buy the optional disc drive and insert it, it you need internet connection in order to download a firmware to associate that disc drive with the console. So apparently internet is a problem when the device itself, the PlayStation or digital needs internet to work. Needing internet to download the firmware to associate the disk drive with the console is a problem for a, a device that needs internet to actually work because it's the all digital the only way you're gonna get games is by downloading it over the, the internet from the digital store I, I don't know it yeah I mean I mean some people you know some people are making the excuse of what about disc repairs? And I'm like, oh, oh, so, so it's about being able to repair the disc drive and stuff that, that repair actually fixing stuff from, from the same community that, you know, had a heart attack pretty much, uh, uh, a titty attack. Or they, they, you know, you, you would think that um, they had an allergic reaction to a, one screw to screw in a stand. Man, you guys must have really went to school over the last three years, cause y'all even like the idea of you know screwing in a stand, one screw. But but now you guys are repairing hard drives and stuff. That that's what we're doing now. We we fixing consoles now. You know what I'm saying? Now you're worried about being able to repair something that's pretty much most of the components are soldered onto the board. Micromin, mind you. Micro miniature repairs done by machines. You, you guys now got talent for that. So we went from not being able to screw one screw on a stand to now you guys are micro miniature repairmen. Oh, oh okay. Uh, okay. Now, 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 now we welders now and stuff. Now, now we got talent. Could fix micro miniature repair, right? Got it, got it. You know, hey, we'll, we'll find out in November, December, January, the following months when um the PlayStation Slim comes out. Hey, I always said the number one person who 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 whose opinion is never wrong is Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin. We'll, we'll have the final say if, if, if all of this is as serious as you guys say, we'll see it. We'll, we'll see an MPD. Because according to you guys, this is dire. So th this console shouldn't be selling them. You know, you know, consumers going to speak with their wallets. So we'll find out if, you know, the lack of not being able to do micro miniature soldering is that big of a deal. We'll figure it out. We'll see. Unbelievable. Like this is the nonsense, you know. Because of this simple tweet right over here, it's just insane outrage for something that a lot of gamers, let, let's all be honest, guys. A lot of gamers are full of shit, like beyond, like they'll, they'll latch on to anything, anything, right? And you got to wonder why, right? I, I will tell you why. This is my theory, right? These fanboys, you know, these, these emotional fanatics that are attached to xbox um this gotten to the point where they want they want 2023 to be known as a terrible year for playstation 
like an absolute abysmal year for PlayStation because their 2022 was an absolutely abysmal year for Xbox. So they figure that it will be a one for one tie. You know, Xbox had a terrible 2022, so PlayStation has to have a terrible 2023. It's the only way to balance things out. But they're looking silly in the process because we, you know, can you say 2023 is the best year for PlayStation game? Of course not. Some years you have good, great years. Other years you have mid years and stuff like that. But 2023 is not no Xbox 2022. I mean, I'm sorry. In fact, to be honest, I think PlayStation 2023 is better than Xbox 2023. The games for Xbox, you could say Xbox in quantity came out with first party. But what about in quality and in relevance? Hi-Fi Rush? I ain't buying no console for Hi-Fi Rush. Redfall, that's an embarrassment and a joke in itself. Starfield, average, you know. Even I even I looked at it, I have to wait. Like right now, I have my gaming laptop, but because they didn't support DLSS from the start, whatever, I have to wait till they do all those options and stuff like that. So really, but there's no one from a day one buy, but after all the nonsense, it went to a, yeah, I could wait on it. I'll buy it when it's 30 bucks and when they fix and updates. So whatever. Forza, well, I'm not a racing fan, so you guys know I'm not into Forza, but already, even the people who are in Forza, they're already forgotten about the game. Like, I, this is probably the worst I've ever seen Forza have been in terms of relevancy and people talking about it. That game fills well out. Xbox 2023 was a dud overall. Nothing groundbreaking that would actually make a person buy a console in droves. Starfield was probably his best highlight, and it, and it won, you know, it got MPD, you know, uh, number one selling game, primarily because of PC, not because of the console. Everything on the console is where most of his negativity is coming from. Lock 30, long loadings, glitches, just a whole slew of, of issues. PC has some issues, but, you know, it fared a lot better, a lot better options, a lot better running games, and most of the fixes will be on PC to make it a better experience. That's what I'm waiting for. Um, but overall, 2023, pretty much a dud compared to what people assumed. PlayStation, I'll be honest, in my opinion, Final Fantasy 16 and Spider-Man 2 blew it out the water. Those two games just blew Xbox out the water. So ultimately, these fanboys don't want that. They want 2023 to be known as a bad year for PlayStation. What's funny is, chances are, Spider-Man most likely will have a nomination for Game of the Year at the Game of the Year Awards. And we might not see any Xbox game at the Game of the Year Awards. For a nomination, at least. And if there is a game, it, it might actually be High Five Rush and not Starfield. Which would be pretty sad. But, hey. It is what it is. I think that's pretty much the Smearing Campaign. But the Smearing Campaign is failing at doing this job, which is to smear PlayStation. But what it's successfully doing, at least from my perspective, is it's embarrassing that Xbox community. And what's funny is the neutrals of Xbox community is doing nothing to stop it. They're letting it happen, not realizing their own community is looking real bad. But hey, that's their problem, right? But another thing I would like to talk about real quick is, hey, did you watch the game or the Xbox third party showcase? Um... I didn't see it, but looking at what this list comprises of, this is pretty much what they've shown. And I'll be honest, I I need some I need some energy. I need some same energy. Can we can we get the same energy? This is another thing that PlayStation got slack on for 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 having third party showcase. So this is okay now. I, I just need to know. It's okay to show third party. That's what we're doing now. I don't know. Yeah, let me know. It's just. It is what it is. Different standards, I guess. You know, I guess the brand with the lower standards get to get away, you know, from doing stuff like this. You know, you know, but hey, overall, good year for PlayStation. Next year, I think it's going to be amazing for PlayStation with its partnerships, you know, uh, Next year, um, I think over, right off the bat is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Absolutely can't wait. Hopefully Lost All Aside makes an appearance. I've been waiting for that game since 2017. Wow, seven years. That's incredible. P 
plenty of plenty of amazing games that's coming out for PlayStation. And then it's leading up to the PlayStation 5 Pro. Still a rumor, but I honestly think it's a real thing. And oh man, it's gonna be a bloodbath when that machine comes out and Xbox doesn't have a competitor to go against it. Oh man, at, at this point, we're punching down. At this point, we'll be punching down. I mean, technically we're already punching down, but be a massive bloodbath. And, 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 and the incessant need to hate on PlayStation is gonna be on overdrive. You're gonna see people doing like 200 tweets a day of just, they're gonna look for any type of negativity on that machine any type just so just stand by for that one but anyway let me know what you think let me know what you think about the playstation smearing campaign of 2023 do you think it's successful is it really working or do you think it's really making the xbox community look even worse when they're already looking bad i don't know hit up the comments section this is your only friend of youtube street portal talk 77 you know and i'll check you guys out you guys take care have a good one check you out soon don't forget 60 frames no like podcast Check it out. Check out the last one we just had. Amazing show. Great time. You guys take care.